Hello everyone, and welcome to the 10th episode of Britain and Ireland in OpenTTD. And we're starting off here with the, the extension of the Sligo, sorry, Sligo, Leitrim and Northern Counties Railway, and then the South of Ireland Railway, opening as a connection between uh, Clonmel and Thills, to connecting um, cross-country main lines. Anyway, this is the 10th episode, um, and we actually are getting scarily close to the end of this first series. <laughs> but don't worry, we're not going anywhere after this. Uh, the Cork and Bandon Railway has absorbed some of the, the local lines in the area. And the Midland Railway, um, with the congestion building up around Reddish um, on the joint Midland and Great Central lines, is building a direct line into Manchester Central from Stockport through Cheadle uh, up to the southwest side of Manchester. And the Yarmouth and North Norfolk, Norfolk Light Railway is just slowly extending its line up towards North Walsham from Hemsby to Stalham. And now we have the Derry Central Railway, railway, railway um, opening from uh, Macfin and uh, Macherafield. Once again, just connecting to uh, small lines. The Midland Railway building a few branch lines. The first of uh, all from Kettering to Manton. And the second one from Nottingham to Melton Mowbray. Which that, that line uh, will later become the old Derby test track. And then we'll have the London Brighton and South Coast Railway extending from Polegate to Heathfield. And the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway building a direct line from Oldham to Manchester. <clears throat> and uh, Lancashire and Yorkshire also extending its branch line from Clitheroe up to link up to the Midland at Halifield. Caledonia Railway building a, a, a Motherwell bypass because there's a lot of congestion going, congestion going on in that area via Wishaw. And the um, Calendar and Oban Railway, um, completing its main line from Dalmally to the west coast at Oban, where there's lots in, uh, of steamer services that connected to all the Western Isles. Dingwall and Sky Railway has been absorbed by the Highland. And the Lynn and Fakenham Railway. Or is it Fakenham? They both sound pretty funny. <laughs> um, Reach it uh, completing its line to Fakenham. The Metropolitan and St John's Wood Railway extending from Neasden to Harrow. This one was a right, a right carry on because um, I'm building it as four tracks to future future roof because um, eventually it will become a four track section. But it's just kind of work out trying to squeeze in a four track main line through through central London. The Monmouthshire Railway has been absorbed by the Great Western, and all the passenger services have been diverted from uh, Newport Dock Street into High Street. And the London Brighton South Coast, completing uh, the line that I mentioned earlier from Heathfield to Everage. The Mauritia being absorbed by the Great North of Scotland. And this is the Ballycastle. Oh, I think I was just out that really fast. <laughs> uh, this is the Limerick and Kerry Railway, opening from Newcastle uh, West to Tralee. Um, I'm not sure if you'll see it. So, the uh, thing I think just went over very fast there was the Ballycastle Railway, a northern, sorry, uh, a narrow gauge branch line opening from um, Ballycastle to Ballymena.
and the Sligo, Leitrim and Northern Counties Railway, extending, sorry, completing its line from Manor Hamilton, uh, Manor Hamilton, Manor Hamilton, <laughs> Manor Hamilton to Colooney, and uh, so south of Sligo. And this is the North Wales Narrow Gauge Railway, opening from um, Dinas Junction, uh, or Dinas, I'm not sure, uh, near Canaveron, uh, up to various iron mines in the area. Fairly a various amalgamations taking place. The Lancashire and Yorkshire building a couple of con straw connection lines from uh, Rochdale, Rochdale to Backup, or Backup, I'm not sure, and from um, Wyke to Bridgehouse. And building a branch line to Rishworth. We have the Banbury and Cheltenham Direct Railway opening from Cheltenham to Burton on the Water, where it links up with the um, the Oxford, Worcester and Wolverhampton Railway. I accidentally put in the whole line here, um, in reality only half of it opened at the state. This is the bit that opens later. The Yarmouth and North Norfolk Light Railway, uh, completing its uh, line from Stalham to North Walsham. And this is the Dover and Deal Joint Railway, opening from Dover Town to Deal. It's a joint railway between the South Eastern Railway and the London, Chatham and Dover. And the London Brighton and South Coast, um, extending its uh, Midhurst branch line, branch line down to Chichester. And this is the Swindon, Marlborough and Andover Railway. Um, accidentally put in the whole line here, in reality only half of it is opened, I actually demolish it and then rebuild it later. But at this date, the Swindon, Marlborough and Andover Railway opened from Swindon Town south to Marlborough. This is the section that which I'm talking about. Uh, the line north of Swindon we'll get to in a moment. And this is the Stafford and Odoxeter Railway opening between, well, Stafford and Odoxeter. And this line was actually operated by the Great Northern Railway to give it access to uh, Staffordshire. And this is the Cork and Bandon Railway, building a branch line or um, to Bantry. Excuse me. This is the Weems and Buckhaven Railway, opening its own uh, small just branch line from Thornton Junction to Buckhaven. And this is the Golden Valley Railway, opening from Pontrails to Dorstone. This is the London and North Western Railway, um, building half of its Northampton bypass from Rugby through Long Buckby to Northampton. And this is the Lid Railway opening from Appledore to Dungeness. Excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold. And now we have the London Brighton and South Coast Railway introducing a new express train, which is the Brighton Bell from uh, London, Victoria, non-stop to Brighton. And this is the Lynn and Fakenham Railway, extending from Fakenham to Lenwade, which is just south of uh, south of Reapham. Because the company wanted to extend its line all, uh, all the way into Norwich. The Midland Railway, um, extending from Basford to Ilkston Town. 
via Kimberley and Ilkston Junction. Of course, my nose starts running the moment I start recording. Typical. The Caledonian Railway extending from East Kilbride to Hamilton. And this is the formation of the Great Northern and Great Eastern Joint Railway because the Great Eastern wanted access to the South Yorkshire coal fields. So a line between March uh, through Lincoln up to Doncaster was transferred to joint use. Joint use. And this is the West Donegal Railway, opening from Stranola to Donegal, which is a narrow gauge railway. So there's a breakup gauge at Stranola. And this is London Northwestern completing its Northampton Loop. And this is the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway, opening its first section from Didcot to Newbury. And this is the Swindon, Swindon Marlborough and Andover Railway, extending from Savernake at the bottom of the Marlborough um, branch to Andover. And the Isle of Wight Railway building a branch line to Bembridge. And the Great Eastern building a branch line from, from, uh, from Roxham through Aylsham and Weepham to County School just north of Deerham. And the North Eastern Railway extending from Pickering to Seema, uh, just south of Scarborough. And this is the Great Northern and Great Eastern Joint Railway, building a uh, direct line from Sleaford to Lincoln. So from Spalding to Lincoln, via Sleaford. And the Great Eastern building a branch line to Clacton on Sea. And the London Brighton and South Coast Railway, railway um, extending its uh, sorry, building a branch line from Lewis through Horsted Keynes to East Grinstead. This is the Downham and Stoke Ferry Railway, just a small branch line from Downham Market to Stoke Ferry. And the Manchester Sheffield Old Lincolnshire, um, extending its line from Nottingham Royston to Nostal, near Wakefield. This is Strathendrick and Aberfoyle Railway, which is building a branch line to Aberfoyle. And this is the West Lancashire Railway opening from Southport Central, a separate station, to Preston Fishergate Hill, once again a separate station. So this line was actually attempting to challenge the, uh, the dominance of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway in um, Lan uh, West Lancashire. And this is the 100 Who Railway, um, building a branch line t from Gravesend to Port Victoria. Where there was a, a port was expected to be built and um, services to Flushing in the Nether in Belgium or was it the Netherlands? I'm not quite sure. Uh, were expected to start. And the Great Northern building a branch line to Leicester from its joint line uh, from its joint line with the London Northwestern, and also building uh, beginning its um, Derbyshire lines. This is the Tain Valley Railway opening from Exeter St Thomas to Heathfield near Newton Abbott. And this is the Barla and Festiniog Railway opening from Barla Junction to um, 
Fest in York. Sorry, um, Chorswood. Tra where meets the, um, Fest in York Railway. This is the Bury and Tottingham District Railway, just a small suburban branch line from Bury to, um, Holcombe Brook. This is the Lynn and Fakenham Railway, completing its main line from Lenwade to Norwich. And this is the Glasgow, Yoker and Clyde Bank Railway, building a branch line uh, across the uh, north bank of the Clyde to serve all the shipworks. Going into 1883, we'll have the um, Letterkenny Railway, opening from Tuban Junction to Letterkenny. Operated by the London Derry and um, Loxwilly Railway, and also at this date, the London Derry and Loxwilly Railway converted to narrow gauge to match the gauge of the Letterkenny Railway. And now we have the Giants Causeway Tramway, a narrow gauge railway operating from Portrush to Bushmills. The Lynn and Fakenham Railway and the Yarmouth and North Norfolk Light Railway have merged into the Eastern and Midlands Railway. And the Great Eastern Railway building a, by a direct line from Norwich to Yarmouth via Aisle. And the Caledonian building a small branch line to Moffat in the borders from Beatick. And the Lynn and Fakenham Railway connecting the two lines that it's just amalgamated from um, Melton Constable through Aylsham to North Walsham. And this is the Charnwood Forest Railway opening from Shagerstone on the Midland and uh, sorry from the um, Ashby and Nunnigan Joint Railway to Loughborough Derby Road. And this is the Castle Dirk and Victoria Bridge Tramway, a nor uh, narrow gauge railway opening from uh, the Dundalk to Londonderry Line. And the Great Western building a small branch line to Highworth. And now we have the District Railway building um, a new line from Ealing to Hounslow. And the North British um, Railway building a branch line, sorry, building uh, continue its main line from Arbroath to Montrose because recently it also uh, obtained joint operation of the line between Dundee and Arbroath. So by building this line, it gained access to Aberdeen. The Midland and Eastern Railway has been absorbed by the Eastern and Midlands Railway, because that's not confusing at all. And we have two railways opening in Northern Ireland, the Limavady Railway between Limavady and Dungiven, and the Draperstown Railway between Magherafeld and Draperstown. And this is the Colford Railway, just a small branch line from Monmouth to Colford. And this is the Anstruther and St Andrews Railway, um, com uh, building the first section of the line from Anstruther to Boar Hills near St Andrews. And this is the Hazelwyn Joint Railway, opening from Halesowen to Longbridge, connecting the Midland and Great Western lines in the West Midlands. And the Blainau and Festinio Railway has sort of been absorbed by the Barla and Festinio Railway and converted to standard gauge. London Brian and South Coast Railway linking to its line from uh, Haywards Heath to Horster Keynes. And this is the line I was talking about earlier, this is the Swalton, Swindon and Cheltenham Extension Railway opening from Swindon Town to Sirencester Watermere. This is the one I accidentally built earlier, but I'm putting in now. Going into 1884, the Great Southern Railways extending from Clara to um, Bananga. And 
and the London and North Western, extending from Sutton Coalfield to Litchfield City, which completes the um, Cross City Line as we know it today. And the London Tilbury and South Island Railway, building a small extension to Shoebrinus. And now we have the Croydon, Oxted and East Grinstead Railway, opening as a joint railway between the South Eastern and the London Brighton and South Coast, from Croydon to Oxted. And then from here the line split um, into two branches. One of the branches was, the south, was South Eastern owned, um, which connected up to its main line, and the other one was London Brighton and South Coast owned, which uh, continued down to East Grinstead. And it uh, also extended from Groombridge to Edenbridge. So giving the light in London Brighton and South Coast two direct lines from London to Brighton and East Eastbourne respectively. The Bristol and um, sorry, the Great Western Railway um, building the North uh, sorry, the Western Supermare Loop from Wall through Western um, to Bleeden, which also means the original branch line from Western Junction was uh, has been closed. The Bridport Railway extending building a small branch line to West Bay. This is the Jersey Railway, which is on a um, live stream converting to narrow gauge and extending from St Alban to Cobia. And this is the Swindon and Cheltenham Extension Railway and the Swindon Marlborough and Andover Railway merging, merging into the Midland and Southwestern Junction Railway. The London Railway building an extension from Lytton New Romney, I'm struggling to keep up here. And the London Chatham and Dover Railway extending from Maidstone to Ashford West through Harrietcham. And a small branch line being built from Bangor to Bethesda by the London Northwestern in North Wales. And a few lines in County Down being absorbed by the Belfast and County Down Railway. Several railways in the north of Scotland have been absorbed by the Highland Railway to, uh, to give one direct line uh, owned by one company from Inverness all the way to Thurso and Wick. And this is the, um, the new f uh, company taking over the railways in the Wirral, called the Wirral Railway. And this is the Tiverton and North Devon Railway, opening from Tiverton North to Morbath, near Dulverton. And this is the Southport and Cheshire Lines Extension Railway, opening from Aintree to Southport Lord Street, by the Cheshire Lines Committee. And this is the Metropolitan Illness Circle Railway, which is uh, jointly owned by the Metropolitan and the District, uh, which completed the Inner Loop Railway by, uh, forming a, uh, by connecting the Mansion House and um, Moorgate on the District and Metropolitan respectively. And also extending from Aldgate up to Whitechapel to uh, meet the East London Line. And with this, we can actually form um, the Circle Line, which is a, a jointly operated uh, service through central London, which just looped forever. The Great Northern, extending its Queensbury lines from Thornton to Keithley. I can hear my car crying outside. <laughs> well, have a second. Come on in then. Going into 1885, we'll have the Great Northern Railway of uh, um, Ireland building a branch line to Bell Turbot. And the Great Southern Western Railway uh, extending from uh, building a branch line from Farron Forward to Kilorgan. And this is the London South Western Railway building new lines to Guildford from Leatherhead and Surbiton. Hi. I don't get five minutes to myself. I can hear you. Yeah. 
Well, there's no need for that. This is the uh, Great Eastern Railway uh, building the uh, Milden Hall direct line from Cambridge to Fordham. Um, and the Waterford and Central Island Railway extending to, uh, attempting to extend its man uh, main line to Mount Malik. And the London Tilbury and South End Railway building a branch line from Barking to Upminster. Up And this is the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway, um, extending from Newbury to Winchester. You're, gonna, you're not going to believe this. The name of the station was Winchester Cheese Hill. Sometimes it refers to as Chesil, but I'm going to keep calling it Cheese Hill because I'm not going to lose that opportunity. Anyway, here we're connected up to the London Southwestern Main Line to run trains into Southampton. This is the Swanage Railway opening um, as a branch line from Wareham to, uh, to Swanage via Corfe Castle. And this is the X Valley Railway opening from Tiverton down to Exeter. And the Highland Railway building a branch line to Strathbeffer. The original main uh, Dingwall, uh, sorry, uh, Dingwall and Sky Railway was a uh, meant to go directly through Strathbeffer, but the town um, landlord wouldn't allow it, so now just a branch line is being built. The Glasgow and South Western Railway is building a mainline div uh, diversion because the mainline was getting congested between Glasgow and Paisley via Paisley Canal. It done that by taking over the um, Glasgow and Johnston Canal, uh, filling in the track uh, the waterbed and replacing it with tracks. And this is the Scarborough and Whitby Railway opening from Whitby, Westcliff and Scarborough Central. I also forgot to put in the, uh, the line North of Whitby, which opened earlier than this, via Robin Hood's Bay. I believe I uh, put in a new town as well, I'm not sure uh, what though. And I fixed the coastline there, <laughs> because it's sticking out a bit too much. And this is the Hull and Barnsley Railway, this is the big one, um, opening from Hull Cannon Street and Alexandra Dock to Stefford, just a few miles out of, uh, out of Barnsley. And the point of this railway was to uh, give both a direct line from the coal fields near Barnsley to the docks at Hull for export, and also to challenge the North Eastern Railway's monopoly in the area. However, as um, <clears throat> All of the most convenient routes by railways have already been taken up. The line had to take um, quite circular routes on, uh, that also went directly across the top of the Yorkshire Wolds, which meant the railway was very costly to, uh, costly to build. And she's still shouting at us. Yeah, no, I can hear you. She doesn't want anything, she just likes shouting at us. And this is the Great Western Railway building a branch line from Gloucester to Ledbury. And this is the South Sea, South sea Railway opening from Fratton to uh, East South Sea. Out South Sea. And the Port Patrick Railway and the Wigtownshire Railway being merged into a joint railway, which is the Port Patrick and Wigtownshire Joint Railway, which is um, jointly owned by the London Northwestern, the Midland, the Caledonian, and the Glasgow Southwestern Railways. And this is the Highland Railway building a branch line um, from Keith to Buckey. And the Caledonian building a branch line from Killen Junction through the town of Killen itself to. Um, uh, pier on Loch Tay, where steamers took passengers across to uh, near Aberfeldy. This is the... what is it? It's the Midland Great Western Railway extending from Cavan to Kilachandra. 
I also forgot in a bed to put in a couple of this. Oh no, it's not. It's the um, Glasgow Southwestern extending from Sounds to Baldwin Glass. Sorry about that. Got lost there. This is the Ronda and Swansea Bay Railway opening from uh, from Port Talbot General up to Simmer. And the Abbotsbury Railway, just a small branch line to Abbotsbury from near Weymouth. And the Great Western Railway building a branch line from West Drayton to Staines, uh, Staines upon Thames West. And this always annoys me that it's called Staines upon Thames and not Staines upon Thames. <laughs> this is the Mersey Railway opening from Liverpool Central and Rock Ferry. No, it's not. That's the Air London Northwestern building a branch line from Waver Tree to Alexandra Dog. I'll get to the Mersey Railway in a second. Right, this is the Mersey Railway, uh, which was formed to build a new line from Bergenhead, which ran under the Air River Mersey via a huge tunnel to Liverpool Central. It initially ran steam trains, but it was one of the first lines to be electrified. This is the Cathcart District Railway, um, opening from Glasgow Central to Cathcart, which is first uh, the first half of the Cathcart um, Circle Line. And also the Glasgow City and District Railway, opening um, as an underground railway from Belgrove um, past Glasgow Queens, Queen Street Underground to um, Partick. This is the Bergenhead Railway extending from Heswall to West Kirby. Pretty much completing the lines on the Wirral. And this is the Quakers Yard and Merthyr Railway, which opened as a joint railway between the Great Western and the Rhymney Railways. Um, between Quakers Yard up through Aberfan to Merthyr. And the London Channel and Dover building its own branch line to Gravesend. And the Midland Railway extending from um, Mansfield Woodhouse to Blackwell. Where's Blackwell? I think you can ask. I have no idea. I really can't remember. But apparently it's just north of Highbridge. And this is the Moray Coast Railway opening between uh, Port Soy and Elgin East. And this is the Bowie Port and um, Gwendrieth Valley Railway opening from um, Clenany to uh, Cross Hands. And the Great Southern and Western, extending its uh, branch line from Balton Glass to Tullow. And the North Cornwall Railway, opening from um, Halbill Junction down to Launceston. And this is the Great Northern uh, Railway of Ireland, extending from Inniskeen to Carrickmuckers. And this is the Clonakilty Extension Railway, opening from Clonakilty Junction to Clonakilty. So just a branch line to Clonakilty. I can still hear Cap Heron.
And this is the Manchester and Milford Railway, um, linking its two lines from Lampeter to Strata, Florida. And the Whitland and Cardigan Railway, completing its uh, line from Glogue up to Cardigan. I'll talk more, uh, more about the Manchester and Milford in a different episode, uh, because I do have an idea for a special episode which will probably be taking place after the main series. And this is the Shill and Skibreen Railway, a narrow gauge railway from um, Skibreen to Shill. Also put in some um, ship services to, uh, to some of the islands, Cape Clear Island. This is the Sutton and Willoughby Railway opening from Willoughby Junction down to Sutton on Sea. And this is the seven tunnel being built, so the, uh, the two small, stu uh, small stubs to the, um, the piers on either side of the River Severn have been closed, and I'm putting in a new direct line, uh, which tunnels under the Severn estuary. And the Great West North are building a branch line to Bodmin, as we go into 1887. Also at the start of 1887 we'll have the Helston Railway, opening the branch line well, to Helston, also in Cornwall. Then we have two narrow gauge railways opening. The first one is the Cork and Muskerry Light Railway, opening between Cork Western Road and Blarney. And the second one is the Cloga Valley Railway, opening between um, Tainan and Maguire's Bridge via Cloga. And the Weemers, sorry, the Weemers and Buckhaven Railway, just building a small extension to Metal. And the Anstruther and St Andrews Railway, completing its line all the way up to St Andrews. A small closure there near Darlington, and the Giants Causeway uh, tramway extending from Causeway, uh, sorry, extending to Causeway Head. And this is the Traley and Fennet Railway, just a branch line from Traley to Fennet, owned, uh, owned by the Waterford and Limerick Railway. And this is the West Clare Railway, also another small um, narrow gauge railway opening from Ennis to Milltown Malbay. And this is the, uh, the Cosa Newport, then Ryder Newport and the Isle of Wight Newport Junction Railway, all merging into the Isle of Wight Central Railway. And then this is the Elm Valley Railway opening its first section from Folkestone to Barham. The Eastern and Midlands Railway building a branch line from Milton Constable through um, Hold and Sheringham to Cromer Beach, also today also uh, known as the North Norfolk Railway. And the Metropolitan Railway extending from Harrow on the Hill to Rickensworth. Once again, well, this is really awkward because at this point the tracks actually become jointly owned by the um, Metropolitan and the, the future Great Central. But I didn't want to just do it as two tracks, even though it is in reality, just because I think that it would just be getting really congested. So I, um, so I just spent ages trying to work around how should I do this, how should I lay out these tracks. And this is the Dublin, Wicklow, Wicklow and Wexford Railway. Um, building a branch line from Macmine Junction to New Ross. And at the same time, the Great Southern and Western are building a branch line from Bagneils Town to Palace East Junction. Now, some sources say this opened now in 1887, and then some sources say this opened 20 years earlier. So I'm really not sure about that, uh, kind of that small little area. It really did confuse me.
This is the Liverpool, Southport and Preston Junction Railway opening from Southport Central, so not the Lancashire and Yorkshire owned one, and to Aldcar and Hill House on the Cheshire Lines, which gave a third route between Liverpool and Southport. And this is the North Eastern Railway, building a, um, a loop line from Annick through Wooler to Coldstream. And this is the Cavan and Lightrum Railway, which is another narrow gauge railway opening from Bell Turbot on the Great Northern Railway of Ireland to Jormut on the Midland Great Western Railway. So many things just happened there so fast. This is the Whirl Railway. Whirl, Whirl railway. Uh, extending to New Brighton. And the Mersey Railway extending to Birkenhead Park to meet us. And this is the Listowel and Ballybunion Railway, which in reality was actually a monorail. I don't really have the time to talk about that, but I do encourage you to look up the um, Latage monorail, so, uh, monorail or something like that. Anyway, this is the London Northwestern Railway building a new main line from Brockenhurst through Christchurch and Bournemouth and Poole to Hamworthy Junction, leaving uh, the, other, the original main line, what's now known as the, Cork, uh, the Castleman's Corkscrew. London Northwestern building a branch line to Daventry. And the Midland Railway building a, um, an alternative main line from Ilkley uh, through Bolton Abbey to Skipton. Now part of it is operated as the um, Embassy and Bolton Abbey Railway. And the Cavan and Lightrum Railway, building a branch line uh, from Berlin and Moor to Arigna. London Tilbury and Southend, completing its uh, secondary main line from um, Upminster to Pitsy. And the Eastern and Midlands Railway, um, extending from Bourne to Saxby, which is near Milton Mowbray. And the uh, Sutton and Willoughby Railway, extending from Sutton to Mablethorpe to meet up with the Mablethorpe branch. And this is the Kilsyth and Bonnybridge Railway, um, extending the North British Railway's Kilsyth branch to Larbert, or Larbe, on the um, Caledonian. The Cork and uh, Muscari light, uh, light Railway extending from Coachford Junction to Coachford. And this is the. Sorry. Yeah, this is the um, Freshwater, Yarmouth, and Newport Railway opening on from Newport on the Isle of Wight through Yarmouth to um, Freshwater. And this is the Lanarkshire and Ayrshire Railway, opening from Barmill on the um, Joint Railway to Ardrossan North. And this railway was built um, very parallel to other lines because the Caledonian wanted um, direct access to Ardrossan and the steamer services from there. They wanted to share with the traffic and the money basically. It was being um, very expansionist. You'll see this theme repeated with the Caledonian over the next 20 years or so. The Great Eastern, um, extending from Maldham to South Woodham, South Woodham Ferris. Now we have the Barry Railway opening from Cogan near uh, Penarth to Barry, to, uh, because the railway had planned on developing a new docks there. And at the same time, the Taff Vale are also putting a small little um, branch line from Penarth to Cadoxon near um, Barry. Now, I don't know why, but these two railways did open on the same date, and I'm not sure why they'd allow that, but anyway. This is the Great Eastern building a branch line from Shenfield to Wickford. And the Great Southern building a branch line from Bantia to, New Park, uh, to Newmarket in County Cork.
and um, the London North Western building a suburban line in Birmingham from Soho to Perry Bar. Today part of the Chase line I believe. And I'll be back in a minute. Sorry about that, just the doorbell rang. Anyway this is the Golden Valley Railway completing its line from Dawson to Hayon Mai. And the Barry Railway building its, uh, Barry Railway building its secondary line from Cadoxton to um, from Porth to Porth, sorry, near Pontypridd, up in the um, Taffville valleys. Then moving into the last six months of this episode, I'll just let it catch on. <laughs> We'll have the Taft Railway Railway building a branch line to Murray, to Murray, the Caledonia Railway um, extending from Greenock to Goorock. The District Railway building a branch line to Wimbledon from Earls Court. And the Metropolitan um, completing its line from Rickmansworth to Chesham, which completes the Metropolitan line nearly as we know today. Uh, the Elm Valley completing its line up to Canterbury. Uh, the Great Western building a branch line to Shipston on Stower. Irish Railways in Northern Ireland being absorbed by the Belfast and Ballymena. The Wrexham Mold and Connors Key building up uh, its own independent line to Brimbo from near Wrexham. This is the Ramsey and Summersham Junction Railway opening as a small, just a small branch line to Summersham from Ramsey. The Great Eastern uh, extending its line from Wickford to both South Minister and South End Victoria. The Great Northern, uh, just building a small connecting line uh, through Nottingham, from uh, near Nottingham to Daybrook. Uh, the Lanarkshire and Ayrshire, building a branch line to Kilburnie, and then just after this, the Great Western, building a, a small branch line to Tedbury. And with that, uh, thank you very much for watching, and that's the end of the episode. I'll see you all in probably a live stream next up. Thank you.